Okay, I'm going to tune my radio up um, into this antenna tuner. I'm going to be using the FT890 that I've been demonstrating here to demonstrate that this uh, tuner will, uh, you can see it uh, load up. There is not a light indicator or light inside the meter. The antenna uh, tuner has to be switched. Uh, I think this antenna tuner has been modified for Mars because it's got a wider band spread at the top uh, frequencies than it has at the bottom frequencies and I'm going to tune this into 20 meters. Okay, I'm going to take my radio down to uh, 14.250 And I'm going to switch it down to 20 watts so I get a low power output so I can tune it into my uh, R5, which is a uh, 20 to 10 meter vertical crush craft antenna. Okay. Come on. I'm going to tune my radio in. Okay, I, I've got uh, power out of my radio here. A little bit of power. I'm going to increase that. Notice the mismatch. Okay, notice the mismatch. I'm on the 40. Now, I've, I went completely through this tuner and spotted the frequencies. This must be on the upper side band, uh, on the upper frequencies, not upper side band, uh, on the upper frequencies. Uh, it has a wide bandwidth. It has a wide bandwidth. So, the uh, what it says at 14 is not at 14 it it's at 21 so if I'm gonna tune this up so I set my band uh, selector switch to 21 megahertz I'm gonna set these at 5 and 5 but I got a chart that I've made up for this radio okay and uh, that comes with this tuner when you I've got a chart for it here. And at 14, uh, at 1430, I'm at uh, 14250, I need to set the transmit at 475. I entered at 475. The antenna matching is set at 2. I'm getting here with 2, and I'm on, the antenna is on 21. So if I hit my transmitter again, I see a high SWR, so if I should should be able to tune it. Okay, I had the wrong antenna. Need to press my tuner in. Okay, so I want to make sure I've got my R5, which is uh, antenna 1, and my tuner is on. Okay, now if I press that, okay, I need to back off on my, uh, my gain a little bit here. Okay, now I got it on 21. I should be able to lower the SWR. Okay, you can see the needle coming down and going back up. Goes down, it comes back up. There's a flat SWR right there. Alright, we got about uh, two watts out. I'll kick a little more out of my antenna here. Check my SWR again. Okay. SWR there again, drop it down and back up. Alright, now I got about 14 watts out. I'll put it on the 200 scale. You can see it goes up to 200 here. Okay, and I'm going to transmit into it again. Okay, I got about, and then I'm going to kick my power up. And my power output is about 90 watts. My output power is 90 watts, so I'm going to adjust it just a little, little bit. All right. A little bit there, drop it, and it's right there. I don't want to do any more. Okay, push my power up just a little bit more. Okay, on my uh, 
I'll put on my transistor, my transceiver. I'm at one dot, a little below one dot two, and I'm pushing about 95, uh, 95 watts out. Okay, I flip it over here to, and we'll see what it's on the other meter. So you've got uh, progressively downscale now. You're below 100 watts. I'll push it up on 200 watts. Okay. I'm going to turn my meter down to 20. A little 20. And then I'm going to switch it over here. And you can see it's putting out about 14 watts. Increase it up. Okay. So it, it works good. Works all right. Nice tuner. Um, it's clean. You've got good insides. The insider insides clean, and it's been very well taken care of. Okay.